this is a CC1101 for 33 megahertz uh, module this is developed by Texas Instruments and yes I really like this module because it has a significantly long range and it consumes really less power now the thing is there are already libraries for interfacing CC1101 with Arduino and it's written by Space Terry but there was no significant library for interfacing it with MST430 uh, MST430 G2553 microcontroller as you can see it's over here so recently I was working on a project of a smart band development where I have used MSP430 this one is also the MSP430 microcontroller and there is a CC1101 on the back side this is a prototype model that's all now the thing is I need to write a library for this MSP430 so that it can communicate with the CC1101 and this library should also be compatible with this Arduino one so that the receiver should be on the Arduino but the transmitter will be on the MST430 and they must be able to communicate so here is the library actually I have already written another library previously but this is a much better version and modified version So this is the library. Uh, this library, as you can see, it has some predefined modulation schemes. For example, GFSK and GFSK 38.4 kbps, GFSK 1.2 kbps, um, GFSK 100 kbps, MSK 250 kbps, uh, MSK 500 kbps, and OOK 4.8 kbps. Also, different power level depending on the frequency are using for example this cc1101 module is set at 433 megahertz and it doesn't support 868 megahertz with this current circuitry you need to change the circuitry for supporting 868 megahertz so and this is how it works actually this is the library this library is available on github so if you are using msp430 microcontroller and you want to use cc1101 then you can go and use this library this is completely tested and the best part is this library is compatible with the Arduino one so that you can communicate between completely two different platforms without any problem also Here all the functions are defined. <coughs> Here all the functions are declared, and all the registers of CC one one zero one are defined. And there is yet another header file that is pin dot h. This header file is actually responsible for all the uh, hardware level works for example here we are defining the gto0 pin gto2 pin spi pins and all the stuff so it can support different msc430 microcontrollers so msc430 fr series microcontroller that is frame to ram series and also the most popular msc430 g2553 so support for more microcontrollers are coming soon what happens here is the left side is the transmitter's code and it will be uploaded to the msc430 and in the right side the code is for the Arduino and uh, this is the receiver code we are sending the timestamp that is generated using millis and this is a 32-bit data type we are dividing this 32-bit data into four 8-bit different data and we are sending them using the rdep send packet function but at the very beginning we have to configure the cc1101 we're sending the mode as hex 01 that means 
this is the gfsk 1.2 kbps and the similar thing is also applicable for the arduino that is the receiver we are also sending the mode as 0. Uh, hex 01 that is the gfsk 1.2 kbps so everything must be same the ism band that is hex 02 that means 433 megahertz should also be similar in the receiver and transmitter the channel that is one that is also same now the thing is address this is the address of the transmitter it really doesn't matter here because there is only one transmitter here but if there are multiple transmitters then different addresses should be assigned but what matters is the receiver's address here we are assigning the receiver address as 0 0 not assigning we are just mentioning it here now in the receiver side you have to assign its own address as 0 0 otherwise if the address mismatches the receiver will consider that the message is for some other receiver and it will just discard it great so in the receiver side we are collecting all these data from the rx repo we are combining them and we are getting the rf time code that is sent by the transmitter now you can ask why the tx repo starts from 3 and why not from 0 the reason is the 0th byte and the first byte and the second byte are for packet length rx address and tx address that's why for the payload you have to use from the third byte and for the receiver side one more important thing is that the receiver goes to sleep after inactivity of 5 seconds if there is no message for 5 seconds then the receiver goes to sleep and how it wakes up it wakes up simply by the interrupt the cc1101 generates an interrupt whenever there is a new message and the interrupt pin that is gdo2 is connected to the digital pin 3 to the arduino so it wakes up on interrupt it intercepts the message and if there is again no message within 5 seconds it just goes back to sleep that's simple now we are going to upload the program to the sys1101 actually it's already uploaded so i'm not going to update it once again i'm opening the serial monitor for the arduino great you can see we are already receiving data okay now we have to upload it because that was the previous code damn it yeah nmc is sleeping nice here we go so you can see that we are sending data and we are receiving it in the receiver side and it's increasing by one second every time because we are sending data in one second interval so that's it we are receiving the data every one second and that's perfect now let's see the tx fifo of the transmitter great this is the tx fifo of the transmitter the value value is changing because the data we are sending is also changing with the millis function this is the rx fifo and this is the tx fifo they are just same every all the time so that's all we are sending data from mfc430 to arduino completely to different architectures but the library works just the same without any problem and the opposite opposite is also true we can send data from arduino using cc1101 and receive using mfc430 with cc1101 for that purpose you have to use my library for the mfc430 and the space studies library for cc uh, for arduino so the links are in the description you can check uh, the library for MSC430 in my GitHub page and the library for Arduino in Space Studies GitHub page. So I hope it will be helpful. Thank you.